All right, hi everybody. It's Bonkai Nine Twenty Two. Just did that whole live stream with Jotin and the gang. Um, Mao, Mayu, Yusha. Episode Eleven. Review. I forgot the title of this one. Um, but pretty much what happened in this one. Oh man, this one got serious, and my hunch was correct about Mao. It was more or less on the money. Um, now, I, let me, I want to check one simple thing. It seems like next week, just trying to figure this out. Oh, wait, that's right, because they skipped. Because one, one week, they did 9.5. So then that means this series is actually going to end on the 6th. Not the sixth. This series is going to end on the 30th. So, around there. So next week is the final episode. Give or take. Now, let me get into this. Summary-wise, all that really happened, it was broken up into parts, this episode. Um, we had the thing with the merchants in the beginning. Um, they were talking about, you know, the whole thing with the the wheat and the potatoes and the exchange rate of money between them and the church and what the church was doing. That's pretty much what you need to know for that part. Um, the rest, and I'm just going to talk about the merchants first, then tell you what happened with Yusha and everything else. They basically were talking to the guy, and this was interesting because each of the pe the kids who were getting taught by Mao, they played a role in their instances, in all their instances. Um, yeah, like two of them played a role. And the guy in the beginning was talking to the head merchant and saying that he was the one who did the tariff, the tariff that changed everything all around and everything. And the herd merchant was basically telling him he wants to um, create a co-thing with the money between the, the kingdoms and stuff. And that was pretty much what he was doing at. And he had realized from his teachings from Mao that he was able to do this, more or less. And after that, and that's what pretty much what happened there. Then the other person who was taught by Mal, the guy who he's now part of the army, he um, is part of the army that's hunting down the other soldier. This is the basically the the winter and the central. That that's the gist of that. And um, he's just taking in charge and, and then re reminiscing of his lessons with Mal. And you see the guy who, who was in the beginning of the episode, the guy who and him were, were in cahoots trying to take down the, you know, Mao and everything. Then there was a situation with the Winter King. Okay, basically, and this is the main thing I want to talk about. Pretty much what happened was, as we saw from last week, there was going to be a war with the Central Nation and the Winter Kingdom. So, Yusha told the king, oh, just hold them off without any casualties, at least until the snow arrives. Because if there's snow, they'll delay them, more or less. But then something else happened. Apparently, the demons from Bright Island, they're on their way as well. So they're basically, 
<laughs> between a rock and a hard place, you know, and it, it's not it's not good. It's not good at all. So it, it becomes difficult. How they're going to do this? How they're going to figure out what they're going to do? So Yusha then, even though the king doesn't, he feels bad doing this, decides to go out and deal with the demons. Meanwhile, you know, they'll take care of the army that's coming in. And yeah, we have the knight and this other guy, and they plan these traps and everything. They took out the other enemy and found a way to, to nook them in a certain area and take them out. So, but like I said, the main focus of this episode to me was Yusha. So Yusha's on his way to take care of the demons using his, his magic to fly. While that's going on, Mao wakes up. Unfortunately, it's not the Mao we know. She's been possessed by the other demon kings. And you know what was weird? I don't know if anybody got this when they saw the episode, but it felt like to me like when she was talking and it was the evil person, the other side of her talking, the one who possessed her, it sounded like Mayuri from Bleach. The, you know, voice actor. Which I found very strange. I was like, yeah, that sounds like Mayuri. I was very, you know... And basically what ends up happening is she has a fight with the headmaid and, well, the headmaid loses her arm. <laughs> it was like, jeez. Headmaid gets away and gets... And gets get into this doorway and close the door closes and she's there. And that's basically what happens. Now Yusha's on his way there and he bumps into the mage. And the mage has feelings for him as well. Everyone has feelings for Yusha, the hero. It's it's really crazy. And she says, I'll take care of this basically. You move on. And the entire time, you know, she, she's she's Proclaiming to protect Yusha and everything and all this other shit. And I was like, wow, crazy. So he leaves and he does a spell. Apparently Yusha can do spells. He he's a hero. He he can he can make some spells. Which is like a thunderbolt thing. And he destroys the the, the ground. And that opens up the doorway to where the realm of the demons is. It's not in another place. It's actually beneath the earth. Who knew? So he flies down there and heads straight. As he falls down there, the, the, the mage tells him information saying, yeah, you gotta, go, you gotta go, go to the castle. Go to Mao. He gets to the castle, sees Mao and thinks, you know, she's okay. And the headmaid's there and says, no, don't be fooled, she's been possessed. And that's when all of a sudden, out of the blue, she calls forth this scythe and attacks Yusha with it. And he stops it. And that's where the episode ends. So I had a feeling this was going to happen. Why? Well, if you take a look at the intro and the opening, and I think, you know, some anime should stop doing this. Anime that do, do this, I, I, it kind of, I don't know why the animators do this. I mean, I don't know what you guys think, but personally, I think it's, it's, it's stupid. You put things in the opening that spoil. You know? For future episodes. And it's kind of annoying to some extent. No, no, not too much. But I knew this was going to happen. That she was going to turn evil from doing this thing she had to do. And, you know, it's, it's crazy. But I think from next week's, which is next week should be the final episode. From what I understand. It's only 12. It's only 12 episodes of Yusha. Um, so, but next week, it seems like what happens is he's able to bring her back from her evil state. So I guess he fights her and he's able to bring her back, get that evil force out of her, the evil, you know, king that possessed her, and bring her back to herself. 
And this looks like the final episode. Looks like it. Now, unfortunately, you're sure, and I don't, I don't want to bring this up, but you're sure, or sure, there's one more episode. That's all. This, is, this week isn't the final episode of Ur Sure. I got one more to review. Um, but overall, this was a great episode. Can't wait for next week to find out how he's going to bring her back. It's going to be something else. I tell you right now, final episode is going to be spectacular. Um... We'll wait and see on that, though. I mean, I thought that there could have been more, less on everything else, and more focus on Yusha. But either way, it was still a great episode. I mean, you know? And I don't even know where the fuck that was. The, um, the demon realm. It's... Jesus, it's crazy. So, this was a really great episode. Now it was so evil in this. Oh, she cut off the fucking headmaid's arm. I was like, damn. Um, so, he's probably going to bring her back to her senses. Kiss her. Who knows? Who knows what he's going to do? But he's going to bring her back to her senses to some extent. Um, and... We'll have to wait and see what happens. And funny when she came out, she says, we're, we're going to go to the headman. She says, to battlefield, battlefield. And I was like, oh, shit, she's evil. And, yeah, this was a great episode. So, yeah. And that's what I got for you guys. So, yeah, Bonkai 922, Yusha, one more episode. Going to be spectacular. She's, he's got to bring her back. She's evil now. We got to bring her out of that. Um. So... Only can imagine how this is going to end. It's probably going to end where she's there eventually going to have this reveal of the other side of the hill kind of thing. So yeah, that should be interesting. But yeah, this has been Bonkai 922. I'll see you guys later. And I gave this a 4 out of 5. And yeah, that's all I got for you guys. So it's Bonkai 922. I'll see you guys later. That was fucking evil. Really evil. See ya.